I don't know how to explain this, but I just tripled my website clicks between yesterday and today after getting totally boned by the September HCU, up to 95% of my traffic went poof and was gone. And I got this additional traffic because I wrote two new articles over the course of the last week and a half in the same niche as all of my other articles, in the same style as all of my other articles. But for some reason now, Google says, you know what? Okay, he's an expert. Let's rank some of these keywords for these articles. I'm gonna show you those in a second and why I think that, again, I'm thankful for the traffic, but Google got this wrong. If you don't know, my name is Rob. I'm just some average dumb dumb from the Midwest. I'm not an SEO smarty pants, not a whiz kid. I'm just an average guy and a really hard worker who learned how to blog over the last couple of years, earned me about half a million clicks to my website just over the last 12 months, which in turn earned me a decent amount of commissions and affiliate sales through my website and traffic. Then the HCU came in and was like, mm -mm -mm, not gonna do that anymore. So a lot of what I've been talking about, I wanna talk about what I learned over the last couple of years. We've been talking a lot about the HCU and how do you dig yourself out of a hole whenever Google or whatever it is says like, you're not good enough anymore. How do you dig yourself out of a hole, both physically and mentally? So if you're here because of blogging, if you're here because you're just also some random dumb dumb from wherever you're at, an average person, but a hard worker, and you wanna know more about blogging, or if you just wanna like come here and be like, hey, I also got totally boned by the HCU, hit subscribe, go back and watch all my other videos, more videos coming. Let's get into what I'm seeing here over the last couple of days. All right, we're starting in the Google search console because again, I wanna give you context and what my website had done over the course of the last 12 months but also what happened to it during the September HCU update. As you can see, a massive tanking of 95% of my traffic. But what I really wanted to do is zoom in to the last seven days here and show you two unique head-scratching examples of articles that I wrote, the only two articles I wrote over the last two weeks that Google has decided, you know what, you are an authority and expert in the space and has given me rankings and traffic for these two, despite the fact that I'm probably actually not. So let me show you here. So these are my top pages during the last seven days. And I've got two things I wanna show you. One is this one, did the FDA ban peptides? So peptides, if you don't know, are a human growth hormone secretagogue. It is a treatment that I have personally taken since March of this year, so I'm now in month nine. So I've got pretty good experience, firsthand experience, like a lot of my other articles, with this particular topic. I wrote about it because the FDA just made a stink about peptides and it's big news. So I thought, you know what, because I do peptides, I know what peptides are, I know how they work and I have experience, I'll write about it. I'm not the ultimate authority in the space. I'm not in the top 100 authorities in the space, but I have experience. I wrote the article and I immediately started seeing traffic come in from this article, more traffic than other articles that I have much more experience and expertise about. And I thought, well, that's interesting. What is Google thinking? Now let me take you to example two, which is even worse. So just a few days ago, actually two weeks ago, let me back up, I learned about the 30-30-30. This is a, 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 not really a diet, but a food system by a guy named Gary Brecka, where you eat 30 grams of protein within 30 minutes of waking up, and then you start a 30 minute walk during those 30 minutes. And I just learned about it two weeks ago as a certified personal trainer with NASM and as a guy that just likes fitness challenges and just all, I thought this sounds really neat. I'm gonna try this myself. I hadn't done it, but I've started it. I'm on day like six or something right now. And so I wrote this article about it, again, not as an expert on this topic, not as an expert in the space of 30, 30, 30, or even as it like, I'm a certified nutrition coach, but I'm not like a dietitian. you know what I mean? But for whatever reason, Google has said, you know what? We like your stuff so much. We think you're an authority in the space. Here's some traffic. And it did. This has been my top article, despite the fact I only wrote it four days ago, over the last seven days by 75 total clicks. A lot of those came just yesterday. Those were actually about 190 something clicks of just yesterday. And even right now, look, in my analytics, if I go to my real time, you're gonna see that it is going to be my top article. It has been all day long. I am getting crazy traffic from this, crazy comparative to having almost none thanks to the HCU. So then I'm sitting back looking at this going like, why? Like, what are you doing, Google? You have already essentially come in and said that I don't have authority, I don't have expertise in the uh, niche of health and fitness, right? I have a couple of hundred articles on my site related to health and fitness. Most of them I have much more experience with, firsthand experience doing these things myself than these two things here. 
and you deemed those not worthy. Why? And for a lot of us, this is extremely frustrating because we had turned that corner of going, you know what, Google, we don't agree with what you're saying, but we have to accept it and learn to live with it and live within your world. Then it comes and does some things like this and you just go like, how am I supposed to follow any of your rules whenever you then turn around and do essentially the complete opposite with these articles? Now I realize, look, these might be exceptions to the rule. These do not prove that Google's updates or algorithms don't work, but man, they sure make it a lot harder to come up with plans that actually actually follow what they're trying to tell us that they actually want. And even, you know, there's a lot of people online, smart people, way smarter than me in the SEO space that are giving great advice, sound advice. Some of it is actually based in data and analytics of what they think that we should be doing now. But they're also putting these asterisks on that saying like, but we're kind of guessing because some of the stuff that we're seeing still doesn't make sense. Even though the advice is fantastic, it's still like, but you know, take that with a grain of salt. Like, and this is exactly why, because things like this are not adding up. So I want to show you those two things. But what this also means is that there's opportunity in here somewhere. And I don't know where it's at exactly yet. These were just articles that I essentially wrote with my same sort of template that I've written all my other articles, the same type of structure, the same sort of cadence blocks, the same, you know, table of contents at the top, FAQ at the bottom, generally the same type of articles, but they're ranking now. So there's opportunity in here somewhere. It's just a matter of figuring out what it is is actually making these things pop. I want to show you a couple more things here. I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I have been doing this thing where I track my daily query count in analytics where I have connected my search console. I just Googled or YouTube like how to connect search console to your analytics, connected it, and then I go into my queries and I do a daily download today or the most recent day and the day before that. And I go into chat GPT and I just say, hey, and I'll actually put this prompt down below because this is the prompt that I've kind of worked out over time that just seems to work. So it doesn't work every time, but it works pretty good. Like, hey, tell me how many keywords I gained and loss from yesterday to today. And it gives me an output that looks like this. And then I bring this over into a Google Sheet and I just essentially track each day to get a general idea of trends. I do it in red if it's stinky and green if it's great or decent or not stinky. And so you can see here, I've had a lot of green as of late. A couple of reds have kind of popped in there. And in fact, I have a secondary sheet here, which also gives me sort of a graph as more of a visualization of this. And you can see here from the time that I started tracking this back on September 20th, which is when things really started to hit the fan for me, I've almost gained the same amount of queries back. I'm down by about another, oh, it looks like another couple, maybe a thousand or 1500, actually uh, 2000 right now, but it's so much better than whenever I was down almost 4,000. So I've cut that number in half. So for me, queries are still on the rise, despite the fact I've had a couple of down days here. It's actually much better than it was. And the fact that I'm getting some of these rankings on these newer articles, there's a little bit of glimmers of hope here. So uh, I just kind of want to up update you all on what I'm seeing here. Again, I'm not any sort of whiz kid, no SEO smarty pants. I'm just some average dude that works hard and I'm continuing to work hard trying to recover from the Google HCU and keeping you guys updated on what I'm seeing here and curious what you all are seeing, if you're seeing anything specifically working. I did go through and do a couple of things uh, to my website. I went in and tried to do a little bit of formatting on here. Uh, I did some page speed on uh, insight tests to kind of like fix some, you know, speed issues with some of my images and things like that. Went through here and actually uh, put some borders on some of these pictures. Just try to clean a little bit of this up a little bit, trying to again, make it a little bit nicer for Google to, to see and analyze. So doing some of that stuff, but I'm not doing any major overhauls. I'm not going through my old articles and wiping them out. I am starting to go through them and maybe add some keywords in that aren't in there already. Just some soft touches, as I mentioned before. Remember the soft, soft smooches videos. I'm not trying to go crazy and shove my tongue down its throat. I'm just doing the, the soft smooches, but I am starting to write some new articles and test a few things out. And so far, the heavier AI articles, even with the same structure and template, are doing pretty well. Granted, these are two hot topics right now, but little bit of an eyebrow raise. So that's all I wanted to show you guys for now. I'll be back in a couple of days and let you know if I see anything else, but let me know how you guys are doing. If you're seeing any sort of recovery, anything working or not working, if blogging and all the stuff's in your wheelhouse, hit subscribe, hit like, go back, watch me all the videos. New ones are on the way. Peace out.